New at six election officials are just trying to do their jobs, but now some worry about their safety. The political discourse has now turned on public servants who are your and my neighbors. Political specialist Sean Boyd joins us now tonight, and some are going to great lengths to protect themselves, Sean. I'm told some have installed bulletproof glass. Mm -hmm. One is even wearing a bulletproof vest. Some clerks say they're receiving death threats from election deniers. Two of the clerks who have fielded the most attacks are in the most Republican parts of the state, Weldon, El Paso counties. They say people they once thought of as allies are now among their antagonists. But for the last two years, it's been nonstop innuendos, threats, um, uh, at all levels. El Paso County Clerk Chuck Borman is one of the last people you would expect Republicans to turn on. Former county chair and state party vice chair, he's been a staunch party chieftain for decades. Now he's enemy number one of election deniers. We've had threats where, you know, there'll be blood on your hands or you better watch out. It's not just attacking the integrity of elections. Now it's actually attacking us people who are administrating the election. Weld County Clerk Carly Coppice, also a top target of conspiracy theorists. Have you been worried about your safety at any point during this? There's been some moments where I've had some conversations uh, with my family and, and my better half. Death threats? They've been few, yes. Both clerks have been under attack since the 2020 election ended. They've had to beef up security, adding cameras in their offices. Borman even installed them at all 37 drop boxes. So far, we've viewed 2,300 hours of, uh, of video, have seen nothing that suggests that there are mules or anyone not do, you know, doing something that's inappropriate. We've put in additional layers of transparency and audits in place. Uh, we've held town halls, meetings, met with people one-on-one, -on -one, phone calls. We've done, we went the whole nine yard for folks to try and um, instill confidence in our voters. Still, he says election judges are being followed and harassed and weld election deniers threatened to camp out at ballot boxes 24-7. Coppice warned them they'd be arrested. She says she's constantly on guard, waiting for the next conspiracy theory to materialize. And it really has been seven days a week because social media doesn't stop. She has just seven full-time staff, Borman 10, but they have hundreds of volunteers. And Coppa says she has more watchers this election than ever before. Both clerks hoping voters are watching and witnessing transparent, fair, secure elections. For Borman, it will be the last he oversees. He's running for county treasurer and says he may pay a political price. I got to be able to look in the mirror every morning and look at that that person in the mirror and know that I did the right thing. So if it is the end of my political career, so be it. I just remind myself that I'm here to do my job to the best of my ability, and I'm going to do that every single day that I come into work, uh, and they're not going to deter me from that. Both clerks say election deniers have also been inundating their offices with open records requests. They're also worried voting centers could be inundated on election day. They say election deniers are asking people to wait until 3 p.m. to vote in person. It is unclear why, but if they do so, these clerks say we may be waiting for the results until Wednesday. Uh -huh.